Simple Gift Series is proudly made possible by Visit Colorado Springs, Colorado, Olympic City, USA and the Colorado Springs Airport, Colorado's small airport. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free. Everybody, good to see you. How about we start our time together by warming up our voices and our bodies with a scale? Take a deep breath and move with me. <sighs> Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. Let's do it a little bit faster. Oh. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Now, let's do it slowly. Take a great big breath. Oh. When we sing or play music, we can do it lots of different speeds. And when we talk about the speed of a song, it's called the tempo. We just sang our scale in different tempos, didn't we? The tempo partners up with the time signature to tell us lots about how a song goes. The time signature tells us how many beats fit in one bar of music, and the tempo tells us how many beats fit in one minute. If
if you ever see something like this, that is the tempo marking. It goes at the beginning of the music, so we know what speed we should play or sing it. With the time signature 4-4, four, four, we know that a quarter note gets one beat. And this tempo marking is telling us that there are 60 quarter notes in one minute. This is a tool we use to see what different tempos sound like. It's called a metronome. Let's listen to what 60 beats per minute sounds like. Let's march to the tempo. Now let's listen to a different tempo. How about 90 beats per minute? Now let's march to this tempo. What about 160 beats per minute? Wow, that's fast! Can you march that fast? Whew! Oh, that was fun! You know, different tempos have names, too. Here are some of them. When it's a medium tempo, we use the Italian word for moderate. Moderato. All right, metronome, let's listen to moderato. One of the slowest tempos is largo. The word sounds like it wants to go slowly, doesn't it? And one of the fastest is called allegro. Let's use some time signatures and tempos to play a game of copycat. We'll start in 4-4 four, four time with a nice moderato. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Next, let's do those same rhythms, but we'll do them at a faster tempo. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. I think we should try using a different time signature. How about three, four? Now, remember, the top number tells us how many beats are in one measure, and the bottom number tells us which kind of note gets one beat. So, in 3-4, there are three quarter notes in one measure. Let's listen to the metronome. Often, people call 3-4 time a waltz. Repeat after me. Here we go! Ta, 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 two, three. Ta, 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 two, three. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. As you can see, there are lots of different tempos and lots of time signatures. The composer uses a combination of them to help make songs sound different from each other. Endless possibilities. Oh, it looks like it's time to get back to work. Thanks for playing with me. So long for now. So long, Miss Linda. Thanks, Marty. That was really fun. That was a fast tempo. <laughs> and now let's hop in the car and see what Miss Lynette has in store. What's around the corner? around the bend I can see adventure for you and I my friend there's so much to learn and see so come along with me together we can learn all that we can be hey 
Hi, boys and girls. Have you ever been curious about what happens at an animal hospital? Well, they're just like our hospitals. Everyone is there to help us, and it's very important to take care of our animal friends. The doctor that takes care of our pets is called a veterinarian, or vet for short, so they work in a veterinary hospital. First, we call ahead to make an appointment. Sometimes our pet isn't feeling well, so we need help to make them feel better. Sometimes we go to make sure our pet is staying healthy. When we go to the vets, we check in at the front desk, just like any other business. Our friend Oliver the cat is here for a wellness visit. Before we go into one of the exam rooms, they make sure that everything is clean and ready to go. Then we can come in. We always listen closely to the people that work here because they are helping us. Here comes Oliver. He's a big kitty, isn't he? Now he gets to look around at his new surroundings. It looks like he's feeling at home already. Staying healthy is important and it shouldn't make us feel nervous. Here comes the veterinarian. This is Dr. Stuart Bates. As he and Oliver get to know each other, he checks his weight and takes a look at his ears. Now a quick check in his mouth. Say, ah. Uh... Time to examine his eyes using a tool with a bright light. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. Next, the doctor is going to use a stethoscope to listen to Oliver's heartbeat and his breathing, just like your doctor does with you. Everything sounds great. The vet checks his belly. Next, making sure that everything is normal. And then it's time for a vaccination. Take a nice deep breath. It's already over. Oliver's exam is almost done. He's going to take a little break in the back while the vet and the veterinarian technicians take care of some other animals. Let's see who else is visiting the veterinary hospital today. This is Ziva, the dog. She is pregnant and has little puppies in her belly getting ready to be born. The best way to see how the puppies are doing now that they are big enough is to take a very gentle x-ray which shows us inside mama's belly. Everyone is so good at taking care of her. This is Dr. Schumach. She is counting how many puppies there are. Seven puppies! How exciting! Someone has brought on a different kind of animal. Reptiles! All kinds of pets, even exotic pets like snakes, need to be taken care of. This little guy has been taken back to have a sample taken so the vets and techs can take a closer look. Here they are preparing a slide to look at using a microscope. It makes the slide look a lot bigger. There are all different kinds of machines that help us, and each one has a very specific job. Oliver is ready to go. He did such a good job. At the end of the appointment, it's time to check out with the receptionist at the front. And then it's time to get our furry friend back home. Thank you everyone at Village Center Veterinary Care for sharing how you help us take care of our pets. See you next time. Stay curious and keep wondering. There's a very healthy way to start each and every day. From them I will never stray. My good habits. Brush my teeth and take good care of my body, face, and hair, spreading good cheer everywhere. My good habits, clean my room and make my bed, eat my
my breakfast to get ahead. Wake up early every day, helping others without delay. Do my work, be kind to others, always listen to my mother. I can do so much more than I ever thought before. There's a very healthy way to start each and every day. From them I will never stray. My good habits, brush my teeth and take good care of my body, face, and hair, spreading good cheer everywhere. My good habits. Sometimes when I come out to my backyard, I just like to relax. I like to imagine I'm a starfish. Betty the Bookworm. Hi, Miss Linda. Hello, Betty. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fantastic. Would you like to read a book with us? Of course. How about The Water Bug and Dragonfly? That is a lovely story. Let's read it together. The Water Bug and the Dragonfly. Songs and Book, written by Linda Weiss, illustrated by Christina Wells. I met a little water bug as I was playing by the pond. She seemed so sad with her big buggy eyes looking out and beyond. What are you looking for? I asked as she let out a little sigh. My mother will be coming back soon. I look for her up high. You live here in the water. Why do you look up to the sky? She's very different from me. You'll see, was her confusing reply. At that moment, from out of the trees, flew a lovely dragonfly. Her wings were glistening in the sun, 
they immediately caught my eye. There she is, exclaimed the bug. See how different we are? I'm in the water all the time, and she can fly so far. The beautiful blue dragonfly landed by her little bug. She kissed her on the forehead and gave her a dragonfly hug. How is it that you can fly and she must stay in the water? Oh, you will see with patience what will become of my lovely daughter. I sat still by the side of the pond and listened while they spoke. Sharing stories of their days and nights, I laughed at their dragonfly jokes. All at once she flew away from her place at the side of the pond. I'll see you soon, she buzzed away. I'll see you soon beyond. It was dark by then and I said so long to my little water bug friend. I'll be back tomorrow, I told her. On that you can depend. The very next morning I came back and my water bug couldn't be found. I looked and looked along the pond. No one was around. Suddenly, a shimmering flash came out of the morning sky. Look, it's not just one, but two beautiful dragonflies. They flew together happily, their wings catching the light of the sun, playing, buzzing, darting, flying, having so much fun. I stood still as they flew by me, and I could hear them sing. My little baby water bug grew up and now has lovely wings. That is what the mother meant when she spoke at the pond. With patience, we all grow wings so that we can fly beyond. That was a very special story. Thank you, Betty. Now it's time to sing the dragonfly song. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey there, little dragonfly, buzzing in the air. Hover I'm so excited to see what gift we got today. Let's look together. Are you ready? Bubbles, I love bubbles. What a great gift. 
Bubbles remind me that sometimes the most magical gifts have to be released and set free so that we can enjoy them. <laughs> Remember to reflect on all the simple gifts we are given every day. To pause and be grateful for each one. We had so much fun together today, didn't we, boys and girls? We read a book about a dragonfly. We played with tempo with Marty. I had a great time. So long for now, my friend. This time now must end. It's been so much fun, but we For more information about this series, visit us at www.simplegiftseries.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Simple Gift Series. <laughs>